Grant Edwards is the GM of PGG Rights and Wool, based out of Christchurch. Just before we talk about the markets and some good news, actually, record prices last week uh, for some fine merino fleece. How's the feeling in the city, uh, Grant, now that COVID's reared its ugly head? Uh, yeah, Jamie, yeah, pretty concerned, to be honest. Um, from what I can gather, I was actually up in uh, Napier to our sale uh, um, yesterday and, and Wednesday, and I just came back last night, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of uncertainty and um, just unsure, and uh, it's a bit of a waiting game, I guess, as, as we um, try and understand what the, to the degree in, in Christchurch here that it's um, that with the, the COVID um, is uh, is in the community. Well, I'm hoping like hell you can ring fence it. Look, um, I'll start with the fine wool. Last week, I think in Christchurch, you sold a bale of wool, 13.2 micron merino wool. Admittedly, that's very fine for New Zealand wool, but record prices, $88 a kilogram clean. Uh, yes, Jamie, we did. Um, uh, a, a very good clip out of the central Otago, the bend. Uh, in saying that, as you rightly um, say, uh, you know, it is very fine. It was very fine at 13.2. Um, and th- those the prices are, that sort of value has been unprecedented in, in uh, recent times uh, through the auction system. Uh, so it was great to see that. Um, an Australian company, AME, who operate here in New Zealand, uh, purchased it. And, um, yes, yeah, so we're getting strong support in, in the auction system here in New Zealand with those fine walls. And um, whilst all uh, merino wool, and, and, you know, this was a, uh, to, to an extent a bit of a one-off given the, given the uh, micron of it, um, we're seeing very good prices right throughout the merino uh, wool type. Strong prices for fine wool. What we need, though, Grant, is strong prices for strong wool. I know it's off its lows because it got really low back at the beginning of the year, but how are we looking now? Is the light at the end of the tunnel? What's happening? Because I know there's lots of supply chain issues right around the world, and it's certainly not happening the wool market as China basically dips in and out at its own will, really. Uh, yeah, no, you hit the nail on the head there, Jamie. We are um, well ahead of um, where we were in January uh, last year, You know, somewhere in the, the degree of around 60 cents a kilo greasy. Um, those prices were, as we all know, and, and was uh, we saw in media, etc., were were totally um, were unsustainable. Um, we have had those lifts. We've seen steady prices throughout October, uh, but we certainly acknowledge. I certainly acknowledge that they're not at the levels that we want them to be for those crossbred wolves, and that they're not at the levels that they. Um, they should be. How are you going to get on? Worst case scenario, because it's always best to uh, plan for the worst and and hope for the best. But in terms of if we or if the South Island goes into a level three type lockdown around COVID, how will that affect the, the wool supply chain? Uh, we believe we can operate the wool supply chain at a, at a level three, Jamie, and certainly to an extent if it did go to a level four. Um, we've learned a lot. I think the country's learned a lot through these um, the different levels and what we've seen in regard to it. Um, even currently, um, we're adhering strongly, uh, strictly to the protocols that have been set down by the Ministry of Health. Um, as I say, I was in Napier uh, yesterday at the wool sale. Everybody's wearing masks in the auction room. Um, so we're adhering to those protocols. And, uh, you know, wool store's a big place, so you can. there's a lot of um, empty space, if you like, um, with, with limited people moving around. So... We certainly believe we can uh, work to those protocols that are set down and we we have, as an industry, uh, worked very closely with MPI in that and um, come a long way from those earlier days of um, of the understanding, etc. OK, Grant Edwards, thanks for your time from PGG Rights and well, I really hope you guys in Christchurch can kick COVID to touch. Good luck. Yeah, for sure, Jamie. Cheers.